What really interested me was the interdisciplinary studies degree. It's as if you can create your own degree. It's you, you take uh, pieces of different departments and then you kind of create what you want to do when you grow up. I got another letter from Arizona State University uh, saying that they've accepted me into their program. Uh, they listed all these opportunities, especially in terms of research. I read through and did a little bit of research about the New American University. I liked the concept and I said I want to be a part of that movement. I uh, was promoted to the manager of uh, Home Depot and I realized that I did not want to work there for the rest of my life. Uh, I'd also had a daughter and I have two daughters now but after I had my kids and I kind of got into the work field I just realized that I wanted to get an education. ASU West in particular I wanted to have the smaller college experience. New college here, it's it's almost like a family. You can't go five feet without someone saying hi to you because they know you. The dean came in one day, or dean of students came in one day, and she, she asked about me, she asked my mom about my mom and my dad, my sister, my little brother, because she's known me since before I was even a student. One of the ways that they get to do this very close-knit family is we have the peer mentor program. So when you get here from day one, there's at least one person that knows you, your major, where you're from, what you're interested in, what you want to do. One thing that I always remember and that I think is unique to the West Campus is the fact that we have a lot of non-traditional students here. Um, and because of that, I've had the opportunity to make friends with a lot of people that I think, you know, otherwise just out in life, I wouldn't have, you know, been able to really rub shoulders with. I like that I can get to know people even though I'm a commuter student just because I, uh, the campus is so relatively small. Everything about West Campus is like perfect. Not to mention it still has all the resources of a large scale university. Students are able to thrive in every section and every area that they do want to. So I think that's the best thing and the most uh, thing that I've been able to take advantage of. What I like about the West Campus is that it's a small, friendly environment where you get to interact more with the faculty. So I, that was pretty nice. I swear, nobody's paying me to say this, I have not had a professor here at the West Campus that I have not liked. They really want you to succeed. I've had professors sit down with me and help me, you know, I, if I struggle with something, I can go to office hours and get that one-on-one -on -one help. What I love about my professors and faculty is that they actually are active in their field of research. So they're not just here teaching me what they want to talk to me about or whatever, they're actually out there, they're doing things, they're bringing it back into the classroom. Who else gets to sit down and hang out with their dean? Like, I probably, all my other friends at UC schools in California don't even know their dean's name. And I've sat down with both Dean Trump and, and Suzuki in personal settings, just having a normal, everyday conversation, which is great. Because of my autism, of course, like, it's just, communication is very, a very difficult trait for me. And, and when I go to my professors, like, they help me clear up, like, clear up the things that are like very hard to analyze. I've gotten to know a few faculty members really, really well. They are not just professors, but they're mentors and it's been amazing. I know that the relationships that I've made with a few of my professors, I'm probably gonna have for life. And so I, I don't know if I would have gotten that anywhere else. We weren't even talking about class, it was just talking about life and some of her talks have actually helped me grow as a person and I think that's that's what New College is all about. I've been able to gain so much experience um, working with these professionals, professionals and individuals that are able to impact me for the rest of my life. I feel that these professors know that they've made an impact, but they don't know the I'm like the biggest impact that they have made in my life. So. When I first moved to the United States, I really had a problem with communication. Then when I talked, people really didn't understand me. So I thought communication was a really good fit for me. It would improve the way I communicate with people who understand me well when I talk. I've always been interested in how people react and um, how they develop individually. Um, I know that socially we're different creatures and I'm more interested on like with, with the psycholo psychology aspect of it, like the psyche of, a, of an individual. I've always loved people, just people, everything about them, behavior, especially behavior, why they do what they do, and how we can help them. Being a person is not easy.
I think having a lot of uh, older students around me has really broadened my horizons, brought in a different sort of cultural perspective, um, and, you know, just helped me to see through somebody else's angle, somebody else's life. Um, and that's been extremely rewarding for me too, and that's an experience that I'll be taking away with me, you know, where I go from here. I eventually became the director of homecoming, so I got to um, program the homecoming events that happened here at West Campus. And because I got involved, I made, you know, some of my best friends, um, and I created this experience for myself that can't be duplicated, because um, it was, this was what homecoming was when I went here. Here at ASU, I actually came to terms with the fact that the world isn't perfect, but that we all have, you know, the ability to change that. And I feel like that's what I want to do. I want to create the change, I want to spark the change, and I want to be the change. I would like to change how cultural competency training is done, and I would hopefully have some part of developing more effective treatments for all kinds of um, multicultural patients. My ultimate goal is for my family to call me doctor. <laughs> um, I would love to get my PhD uh, before I'm 30. That would be awesome. And I would love to do play therapy with young kids. Um, I think that uh, the sooner that they get the help that they need, better off they are in life. Definitely becoming a dentist is my dream job, or at least it's been since my senior year in high school. Um, healthcare has always been my general dream, so as long as I'm working in healthcare, I know I'll be happy. I know I can help others. Dream job would be city manager, city council member, um, and just making making communities that maybe aren't super large, um, making them worth something that is unforgettable and that you never want to leave. An interesting conversation with my daughters last night led me to believe that I could be the president uh, very soon. They were very encouraging, but it was something, I, I think a, a dream job for me would be going into something that has an influence on uh, policy reform and change to make uh, whether it be the world, the country, or state, or even a city, just a little bit better for people who really uh, need the help and have nobody to advocate for them. The person that I was when I came here, I was, um, hang on, I need a minute. <laughs> I just like, hasn't hit me yet that I'm like graduating. Um, uh, the person that I was when I came here, I was really um, insecure. I just came off of a really hard time in my life. Um, and I wasn't the person that I wanted to be and the person that I knew I could be. Um, and I knew that in order to be the person that I wanted to be, I had to get an education. Once I got involved um, and I made healthy relationships, um, I was able to really blossom and come into my own. I feel like I came here kind of lost and I'm still not 100% <laughs> um, found, but I definitely have um, a more solid foundation. As the years progress with networking and internships and classes and, and staff and faculty here, I've definitely known now, now that I'm passionate about working with kids, I, am, I can be a strong leader. I very passionate about my dreams and I'm I am definitely not the type to to give up as easily as others may be. The person that arrived here at ASU was slightly cocky and also kind of scared. Being here at the end of the journey I would say that I've kind of become humbled and uh, ready to just kind of pursue dreams and kind of take on the world. When I started the program I felt like I had I felt like I didn't know what I was going to do, but then, like, but now, like, now that I'm almost done with my master's degree in communication studies, it's like, it's like now I know what to do. Now I know what my purpose in life is, and that's to be an advocate for those who can't even speak for themselves. I feel like we live in a time where you can create your own experience and your own life. And if you work hard at it and you have the confidence to pursue it, then you can be your own boss. 
then you can make your own career. And that's kind of where I'm headed. For me, getting my master's degree, it was more of a, um, a journey for self-discovery. It was, um, I feel like I have become more confident in my capabilities and my abilities, as well as realizing that my big, biggest strength is myself. I'm very proud of myself, I guess I, for, especially for my little siblings so they can have somebody to look up to. I, I didn't have that much guidance, so I'm glad I can be helpful to them so that they can just see and I can walk them through the process. Over the past years, I've seen myself blossom, partly because of my amazing professors and the amazing friends that I made here who also have big goals and dreams. And I'm very proud of how far I've come, for sure. I'm so different than where I was a few years ago. It's the personal passion that I that I have because I've been deprived education um, when I was back home. And I thought when I come here, uh, I'm gonna get the best education that I can. And once I'm done, I think I should give back to the community the way community has given back to me. That's one of the other biggest things that I found out. I'm not alone. Um, there's many, many students who are going through so much, have gone through so much, and will go through so much in the future. Um, but we're all here together, and we are one community. We are ASU.